Maggie Voisin, a silver in big air last night. Adding to her X Games medal collection, she's got six overall. She's won this event before. Knows exactly what to do to win this event. Clean through the rails will help, and then into the big jumps where we saw that double cork in big air. We'll probably see that at some point today. Will we see it on the first run, or will she opt to strategize and warm up into that big rotation? going right side 720 on that first jump. Lining up forward, we could see the double cork. Oh, going for the rodeo nine instead. So super clean run, looking to just put one down and then improve from there. There's the disaster, so gapping to the second down. Here's the 270 on, gets a little forward, but still grinds the end of that rail. We saw the right side 720 into that rodeo 900, so diving forward, unique rotation. Good first run there for Maggie Boysen. Putting her up into second. The best and most technical run we've seen thus far. Yeah, that nine getting hung up on, on the first run. No problem here on attempt number two. And no surprise, Tano taking over the top spot. Here's Maggie Voisin. Clean with the switch to backside 270 out there. So not necessarily skipping a rail, but because she came off that rail so forward, those side hit features she wasn't able to utilize. but. Here, going 270, 270 off. So upping the ante on that one. Switch into this first feature. Switch 900. Whoa, Keeping okay. up with Julia. Will we see Maggie match the double cork rotation on this bottom jump? Opting for the right side 900. So back to back 900s. I maybe hyped us up a little bit. I thought maybe we would see that double cork, but she's working her way up to right. it. So really smooth full Again, run. We saw it on run one. The this is the approach from Maggie, right? Yeah. It's, the, it's the steady climb. Just let my name be there as the dust settles on the last couple runs. And is this a better run for Maggie from what we saw from run one? Definitely a better run. So improvements on the rails and on the jumps. And this is what we saw her do in Aspen. Wow, nice. Maggie voice it taking over first place. Doesn't appear so thus far. And it looks like third is where she will stay. So here's our current leader, Maggie voice and steady as she comes so far today, Tom. Yeah, no real bobbles to speak of. She's been smooth, consistent, doing that switch 270 up top, then the 270 out there. So looking to be sticking to the same sort of flow. She has been 270 on, no spin out. So looking for a different trick than our first or second run here, going right side 720. So opting for the mute grab. Here's where we saw the Rodeo 9 in run one. Going double cork, 1260. Oh. oh! There's her coach, Dave Euler of the US free skiing team up top. Just a look of disappointment, so close, but not able to hold on to that double cork rotation. Here it is, let's slow it down. Gets the safety grab. Coming around and just a little bit on that Amplitude side goes a little big and not quite able to keep her feet under her. So still, third run. She should get another run. That's tough. I think, I mean, she showed a lot of variety. I think it's definitely a little bit of an improvement, but I don't know if it's enough. Matilda and Maggie both have been so smooth and so consistent, especially if Maggie can put down this double cork, she's gonna be almost impossible to beat. She is our current leader, Maggie Voisin. Has a huge trick to end this run if, he, if she can put it down. Gets the right side 720. So here's where we saw the fall in run number three. Coming in with some speed, going, no! Oh, simply staying on the 900, so. Dave watching on from the top, her coach. She played it smart there. She came into the jump. As soon as she set that rotation, she realized she did not have the speed necessary to do the double cork and opens up, creates sort of a wind sail or wind flag with her body to keep this one from going double. Part of what has gotten Maggie Voison into first place has been the consistency and the clean runs. I get it going for it like that. It certainly opens the door for the next couple of skiers, but that's what's gotten her thus far. And it's official, Maggie Voisin holds on for gold. Maggie Voisin consistent all day. 
doing those first two runs super, super solid. Mathilde Grimal with the silver, Julia Tano in third, and if anything, I think Johanna just in fourth, just based solely on the rails on that final run. Had she gotten a full run, she would have definitely bumped onto the podium. That is Maggie's second slope style gold. First and foremost, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the women. The level of skiing is just next level, but you came out on top, your second gold. What was the key to your consistency out there today? I mean, I think today the weather was really tough and you just kind of had to roll with it. And all of us girls were strong skiers. So just tried to stay consistent. Bummed I couldn't get that dumb tw that dub 12 to my feet. But it was a dumb 12. It was a dumb <laughs> The echo is making it hard to talk. But yeah, no, just so stoked, um, super grateful. How excited are you right now on the second gold medal? I cannot believe it. Uh, just getting a podium yesterday and then getting this today. Like I said, I'm so grateful, but more than anything, today is, inter is Women's International Day. And I just want to shout out to all the ladies, the snowboarders before us who inspired us on the slope course, and just so stoked to be one of the females in action sports representing fe the woman. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again. And who runs the world? Girls! <laughs> well said. Congratulations to Maggie Voison, a silver in big air, and now a gold medal in slope style. Also, have to congratulate Julia Tano and Mateo Grimond. Those are their first ever slope style medals, so some history making for those two. But today, it's all about Maggie Voison. Walking away with the gold and so cool. I mean, we talked about it earlier, the level of international in this field. So many women from all over the world competing, but the American Maggie Voisin walking away with the gold today. 